Hey guys, remember my nephew Jorge Alberto, he's here to give us a final update on his procedure. Hi Jorge Alberto. Hola Juan Carlos. We meet after so long. Um, we had we postponed this video because even though he came last uh, well, September, in September, like three months ago, he came over. We just didn't have a chance to shoot this video and I know I owe it to a lot of you that only follow this channel because you're waiting on this update. The topic of my channel or the niche of my channel has been changing little by little and more towards cars. So I would like to let you know that this is my last hair transplant video. Uh, from the beginning I told you I was no sort of expert and I was just sharing my experience and trying to contribute to the topic by being honest and by giving you my honest uh, opinions about the medication I take, the places I've gone and what to look for and all that. And then in that process, Jorge Alberto followed my channel and then he he went for a procedure at the same exact place that uh, the same exact place that I went, which is hair medical restoration in Tijuana with the Cortez brothers. And it was just when I give you an opinion about or or a review about our experience. Um, do your research. Um, I did mine and I was completely happy with my results. Uh, no regrets. Um, how do you feel, Roberto? Muy bien. Respecto al cabello, muy, muy contento. Quick rundown. He got 2,700 grafts, 2,770 grafts. It was a single FEV procedure and it was in uh, November of 2020. So it's been 13 months. I'm blown away with his results. There's something about his hair that is very fuzzy, very thin hair, but it looks very, very natural. No, notice how the wave, you know, it comes to the side. So he's able to find the best look for him. And what it is, is he goes really short on the side and it looks like he's got more volume. So even though he doesn't have a lot of hair, it does the job. He's been rocking this hair for the last 13 months, but it's only in about the last five, six months that it looks kind of like this really good. And right now at 13 months, it looks the best he has looked in the last 10 years. And I wanted to ask him, how is it that uh, for people, uh, new people that he meets in his life because of clients, because of his job, or, you know, just random friends that he meets, uh, do they know that you got anything done? No, gente que no me conoce, no se da cuenta de lo que me hice. Gente que si me conocía, pues si me pregunta qué pasó, qué hiciste, pero gente que no, no. I can reflect on the same experience because I, I went through the same thing. How about the people that knew you were going to get work do they remember the old you or but they're sí, just siempre me dicen ay qué buen cambio qué buen cambio se te nota muy muy bien el, el trasplante los primeros meses me decían no se te nota nada se te ve peor pero ya ahorita al año ya me dicen no no pues sí sí sí, sí hicieron buen trabajo in the first few months were you were you insecure about the outcome the possible outcome uh, los primeros meses estaba como incómodo porque sí di, dije ni por lo que gasté o se si dieran muy malos resultados pero era algo que me decía el doctor que era algo normal I knew it was normal, but honestly, he was a little bit of a late bloomer. So me, myself, I started getting a little bit nervous that the grass were not going to survive the move because he's got very thin hair. And, you know, um, those of you that have followed his journey know that I said that he was uh, he was very undisciplined um, taking the medication before the procedure. Ideally, you should be taking finasteride for six months to a year. And he kind of did it, but he was not that disciplined about it. So by the time he got his procedure, I think that the, some of the hair was weak and I was really skeptical that the hair was gonna survive the move and it did. And honestly, like, um, it looks really good right here. If anything, he looks thin anywhere else. So as far as the procedure, it looks great. My main concern is in time. Uh, have you planned for the future? What if you lose more hair? Pudiera hacer otro trasplante. No sé si quiera gastar más otra vez, pero está la opción. It's expensive for somebody that lives in Mexico with a with a middle class uh, wage to spend such large amount of money on a procedure. But he decided that it was best for him to look for um, his best bet. And that was the clinic that I went with because he lives in Guadalajara and in Guadalajara, there's plenty of doctors, really good doctors, but he didn't know where to go. And even though he got quoted a lesser price, he decided to spend a little bit more just to maximize um, the potential outcome of his transplant. And I'm glad he did because um, he looks great. And whenever we, he comes over to, to California, we go to family gatherings and everybody's blown away. Everybody comes and says, Jorge Alberto, you look great. It makes me so happy because he kind of got in this because of me. And I, I just um, wonder what it would happen if he didn't get this awesome result. It's been at least once that I remember this relative that is a little bit closer to me. He sent me a message, a private message saying, hey, what is it that Jorge Alberto got, you know? 
I know that you got work, but I've, I've gotten to know you over the years, and I never remember you being bald, but I do remember Jorge Alberto how he was like really bad. And then since when I saw him this summer, I was like totally impressed with his new look. What is it that he got? And so I told him what he got. I told him where he went and he decided to go to another clinic. And I asked him, why are you going to another clinic? And he said, because it's cheaper. I'm like, no, like, honestly, I just feel fortunate that there was enough uh, other, enough YouTubers that had documented their case. And I, I kind of trusted them that they were not sponsored, that they were just, you know, honest reviews about their work. And I went with HMR, but he did see me and he had gone to other clinics and he decided to go with mine just because he wanted a sure deal, right? And there's no, there's no warranties on anything and any doctor can have a bad day. Each result is different, uh, but in his case, I'm just so glad that it worked for him. So I never understood why this friend asked me what he did and all the details that he ended up going somewhere else. And number one, because he said it was cheaper and also because he was closer. And I'm like, no, um, those are the wrong reasons to, to decide for a doctor. Uh, what, what are you taking right now again? Eh, este minoxidil de spray de espuma en el cabello y este finasteride de un miligramo. And as I always say in my videos, I'm, I'm trying to make this video as honest as possible. We're not sponsored. We're not trying to make it look better than it does. I have lights right in front of me. As you can see, we're sweating uh, because I want to I want to give you like an honest um, testimonial. So right now he's going to turn around and show you um, his uh, his sights. Go a little bit slower, please. Go a little bit slower, Paul. No. So side, okay, back, then the other side, and honestly, like he looks a little bit thin in the crown right here, but he goes really short. And what I like about his haircut is because he goes short right here, it looks a little bit thicker here. So I like that that effect that he gets. It's a little bit thin, considering that he's thin everywhere. Look, I think it looks really good. I'm kind of in the same boat. You can turn around now. I kind of in the same boat. Um, remember, I had a procedure a year prior, August of 2019. And uh, my extraction is same thing. It's a little bit noticeable here when I go too short, but I really don't mind it. So we're happy. We're both happy. Um, he went when he was 27 years of age. So for somebody that is 27 years of age, that huge transformation, I can only imagine the boost of confidence that he got. And I don't want to speak for him, but I, I just want to make sure that he that he talks about these things. You know, at 27, look like a 40 year old. Uh, at, at any point that you feel insecure when you were thinning, did you ever uh, start going, uh, wearing caps to cover? Did you do anything different in your life? Eh, no hacía eso, pero siempre trataba de lavarme la, el cabello si sale en la mañana, en la tarde y en la noche para que no se me viera como este grasoso y, y no se empezara a abrir y se me y me viera más más calvo. Entonces ahorita no ocupo hacer eso. Me lavo en la mañana y me veo igual todo el día. Yes, um, and same thing. You know, when I was younger, I remember having oil, oily scalp, and I remember my hair getting oily, so you look like less hair. So I had, I was really self-conscious about it. So I know exactly what he's talking about. He never started wearing caps at odd places. He never, he never wore like, like um, hats. But what he started doing, he started doing a little bit of a comb over. When he started thinning, he kind of pulled it off, but as it got worse. It was it was really noticeable that he was trying to do that Homer Simpson comb over, and it was pretty sad because he was only 26, 27 years of age. Um, anything you'd like to add, Jorge Alberto? Sería todo. Este solo decir que si alguien se lo quiere hacer que se anime, eh, no pasa nada y no duele. Este eh, y si ya vieron mis resultados, los del tío Juan Carlos, y se pueden este animar a hacerlo. Les va a gustar los resultados. And making sure that you understand that we're not sponsored by HMR, we're not sponsored by the Cortez Brothers. We just wanna make sure that you guys know that there's a good clinic out there. There might there might be in let me rephrase that. There's other great clinics out there. I just don't know which ones they are. So whenever you ask me in the comments saying what do you think about this clinic, I don't know. So I, I just went to that one and I was really lucky to get a great work. Um thank you for being here, Juan Alberto. Gracias por invitarme, Juan. And I repeat this is the last hair transplant video. So those of you that have followed me this far because of the hair videos, this is going to be the last one. It's going to be, I'm going to be sad to see you go, but I will understand. Um, I want to focus more on cars and other topics. So consider this the last update on my hair and his hair. Um, thank you. Thank you, Carlos. I'll see you next time, guys. Vemos.